Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are doing another tutorial on Katya V5. So basically we will be designing this uh, upper housing for the blower and uh, if you can see on the left side we have the design dimensions and we will utilize it to go for the part design. So let's quickly see how we can do this. We'll close it. Let's start with the mechanical design part design. Let's call it upper housing. Okay. Now we'll start with the basic sketch. So for that, we'll let's go for Z explane and create our very first sketch. Okay, so the first sketch that we will create is basically this 60 dia uh, 60 radii uh, semicircle. Uh, and for that, let's go for a circle, create a circle, give it a dimension of uh, 60 radii and then let's select a line so that we can basically divide it into half and then we can trim the below portion because we don't want it from here we can exit the workbench and then go for a padding now if you see the padding for this one so it's 80 so what we can do is we can go for 40 and then select mid extent so that will compensate the overall depth so we have the 80 pad now what we can do next is we can go for mineral sketch so we will basically sketch the top uh, arc of this blur so let's select the front face go for sketching or else what we can do is in spite of selecting the front face make sure we select the zx planer only because uh, then it will be easy so we'll select the zx plane go for a sketch and uh, let's project this arc and select it convert it to construction because we don't want it and then we'll select another circle or else we can take a profile draw a horizontal line like this make sure your construction is off draw a horizontal line and then convert it to a point three point arc and then draw a arc like this and press escape to exit from the profile then select your horizontal line and the curve and go for a tangency constraint after that we'll select the so pretty much uh, if you see the distance of that point will be 100 since our radius is 100 so we'll define the radius also so this time the radius is 100 also what we have to do is if you see this one 82 right so this point will be at a distance of uh, distance from that axis by 82 by 2 so that will be at a distance of 41 right as according to the dimension so we'll exit the workbench from here and after that what we can do is we will define a plane on this point so for that it's very easy let's go for a plane and uh, for the plane definition we'll go for this curve and the point will be this one press ok to confirm after that we will go for another sketch so for this sketch we'll select the new plane go for a sketch and we'll select uh, we'll draw this rectangle so let's take a rectangle let's draw a rectangle and for the dimension so if you see the smaller rectangle it's 58 upon 42 
So let's give it 58 and 42. Now it should be symmetric, so I will select one edge, two edge, right click, allow symmetry line and select the vertical axis. After that it should be uh, coinciding with the point. So I'll select this one and select this point, right click, go for coincidence and that makes our sketch fully constrained. So I'll exit the sketch and from here we can go for the rib. So in the rib definition, profile is this one and your curve is this one, preview, OK. That's perfect. Alright, so after that we need another plane at a distance of 58. So let's select another plane. For this time select this plane and give it an offset of 58. You can preview it if you want to and like that. We can we have defined our plane so I was talking about this plane which is at a distance of 58 from this face and then we'll select the plane go for a sketching and we'll draw another rectangle so this time let's select a rectangle again give it a dimension so this time it's 73 uh, length and 53 width 73 and 53 okay and this should be symmetric so select right click allow symmetry line and this one now this top edge should be coincident with that one right so I'll select this one and this one right click coincidence and then we can exit the workbench Right from here, we will utilize the multi section solid. So, for that, I'll select my first sketch and this face. And if you preview it, it will give you an error. So, all you have to do is change the direction of the closing point, and then you can press OK to confirm. So, multi section has some uh, gives some error if the closing point direction does not match. So make sure you are following the uh, closing point direction. All right. Now after that, we'll s we see that uh, there is a, a radius of uh, 15, 15 radii, right? Now if we see there is a 2.5 mm gap, right? So that is basically the thickness. So we'll do the shell part later, but first we'll give the radii for the fillets. So let's go for fillets, 15 mm, and this should be applicable on one edge, two edge, three edge, and fourth edge. And go for OK, and that's fine. Now once you give the fillet, it will give you a surface. So this is basically our surface. All we have to do is select and hide it. We don't want it in our part design. Alright, after that we can go for shell. So let's go for the shell. And we know the default thickness which is 2.5. It's right over here. And for the faces to remove, I want to remove this face and this face. It's OK to confirm and that gives you a nice shell on your part. After that we can give uh, this 5 mm fillet to the part where the blower hose is meeting the part body so let's go for a fillet again 5 mm and just select this edge OK and that looks fine. After that we'll select uh, this face and create a pocket of uh, basically create a sketch of 49 radii so let's select the face go for a sketch select a circle from this origin draw a circle give it a radii of 49 and uh, then we'll select a line again and we'll join 
draw a line like that and then we can trim the glow part from here we can exit the sketch and we will select a pocket and in the type we can go for up to next and preview it and that's what we wanted right it's fine that looks perfect Alright, after that we can do this uh, side bracket part where all the holes are there. So for that I'll select again this face and go for sketching and uh, it's basically a rectangle. So I'll select a rectangle. I'll draw a rectangle like this and it should be a uh, tangent to this curve. So I'll select the curve project it, convert it into construction and then select this face and this curve go for a tangency also this uh, thickness of the plate is 4mm so I'll adjust it and its uh, distance is 75 so from here it should be 75mm that wraps up the bracket so I'll just have to extrude it basically pad it in the reverse direction for about 80 mm okay let's see that's fine right and uh, what we can do is we can simply uh, select the pad and then mirror it this plane so we don't have to create another pad because it's the same thing after that we can create the holes so we'll select this face go for a sketching and let's select a circle and draw a circle somewhere here the dimension is it says four dia eight pockets so we'll convert it to diameter four okay and its distance from this edge and basically this edge so from the from the left it is 8 and from the top it's 10 okay once we do that we can copy it or we can say mirror it to the other side because it's the same thing and then exit and go for a pocket like that we created a pocket and then we can select the pocket go for rectangular pattern and we need one two three four instances and spacing you can see the distance between two holes is 20 so let's keep it to 20 and reference element I will give this edge that looks fine so I'll press OK after this you see a small slot or you can say a hole a pocket feature of 15 radii on that face so select the face go for a sketch select a circle draw a circle give it a radii of 15 and select the line draw line and delete the bottom part and then go exit the workbench and create a pocket preview fine so that wraps up our model for the upper housing all the dimensions are according to the value that we see on the left side and that was pretty easy right if you have been doing the part design that it will take maximum uh, how much steps I took 1 2 3 4 5 mostly 10 to 12 steps so that's not a big deal only you have to uh, see is the dimension and stuff like that all right so that's it for this tutorial I hope you guys uh, like it and if you have any doubts with this one Feel free to comment down below and subscribe if you're watching this. Thank you guys. Peace out.